What's up guys, Inigami here, and let's go through 60 Stamina Big Mom Raid Boss on the Japanese version of One Piece Treasure Cruise. Oh, Big Mom! And you know who's great for Big Mom? Brooke. Brooke is our secret weapon against Big Mom. Big Mom actually has a new debuff. And this debuff is reduce all healing effects debuff. So this reduces... Uh, healing from special abilities, healing from orbs, healing from uh, heal return sockets, healing from captain abilities, so it slows down Katakuri, it slows down all healing, except for except for specials that heal you to full. These are the only specials that actually get around it, so Old Sai Marco, uh, Chifun, and Id uh, Indigo, those three specials heal you to full health, those actually still work, so with the exception of heals your team to full, every single heal is reduced by 90% with this debuff. So even our inner turn. We're actually using the old marine ship with this team. The marine ship that boosts your uh, health by 1.5 times because we don't have to attack. Brooke and a lot of our team is going to do all the work here. Uh, we do need to stall for Pika special on stage three so we are gonna take a hit early on look at these weak ass recovery orbs not really doing much work brooke's gonna hurt the turtles which means that we're only gonna get one more turn out of the turtle which is a shame you'll notice our health actually drops pretty fast even on turtles just because of only healing for like a hundred a turn so stage two here we're going to kill this guy we're gonna kill we're going to leave one of these guys take one more hit on one of the guys up front here. And then we're going to Usopp next turn. So I'm going to just go ahead and kill this turtle. And then we'll go and hunt Usopp. And then I'm going to make sure we hit the lobster in the back first. Because I need this guy's health to stay fairly high so we're gonna use Usopp to hit this guy up front and we're gonna wish that our attack were even lower two turns on Pika is what we need or is it one turn on Pika? It is a preemptive on stage 3 alright we got it yeah there's a preemptive on stage 3 so that's no worries so stage 3 is going to preemptively lower our attack for five turns on 60 stand of fight two seahorses in the back they have six hit points they'll bind us three girls in the front they have a handful of hit points they're not low hit point girls but they do have a handful of hit points and they will despair our our team for 10 turns if they survive we're gonna use pika to make him our captain if you have rare recruit Smoker, he is a little bit better here just because Rare Creep Smoker has a shorter cooldown so you don't have to stall as long, then you just have to stall for your Brook special. And we're going to go ahead and use Brook special here anyways uh, to make sure we kill everybody here on this stage because Brook isn't really going to do much for us for the rest of the fight. Stage 4 is either going to be Bavarwa or Daifuku. What they're both going to do is rewind your captain specials completely. So it'll set your captain specials to be uh, completely rewound. That's why we're using Brook there, because we're not going to have a special ready here anyways. So might as well use that to kill that stage. We're going to use... Uh, if you get Daifuku, they'll do that preemptive attack, and every turn they're going to attack you twice. If you get Bavarwa, he's going to have three units in the back. He's going to swap your captain with one random sailor and then rewind your captains fully, which is why we're using Pika. Uh... It's half of the time basically one of your sailors is gonna get rewound and you don't know who it is and the rest of the time you're just kind of hoping uh well you're just kind of betting that your captain's gonna rewound or one of your sailors is gonna get rewound you don't know which one it is so using someone to swap as your captain or using sanji jumping him in the air on stage three and then dodging that rewind on your captain very 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 important so that way you actually have a consistent team we're using Shanks to kill this stage 4, no matter which one we get. Use Shanks, end on your Pika, because he's going to hit the hardest. You get that health cut with the Brook. 
and a little bit of end of turn as well from Pika, or to health cut with Pika as well. Two attacks here. It's all good. No threat. Use Shanks one more time. And then kill whoever's here. So, uh, Daifuku, 1.5 mil hit points. Barbarwa, 1 million hit points. If you get Barbarwa, you just kill three units of back. And then hit Barbarwa. The stage. Just kill him over two turns. Same plan no matter which stage you get here. <clears throat> On Big Mom. Big Mom has 5 million hit points. She starts off as quick. She will revive. She's going to preemptively cut our health, bind our ship for 99 turns, and burn us for 5,000 damage per hit for 99 turns. So what we're going to do is we're going to use Magellan immediately. Any Magellan... Well, either Raid Boss or Legend Magellan works here. Colosseum Magellan doesn't hit fast enough. But either Raid Boss or Legend Magellan. And then now we're going to pay very close attention to what happens. So on turn 3, she's going to blow away a character. Big Mom is either going to be on a one, two, uh, a 1 or a 2 turn attack timer. So here, uh, she is going to attack us. We will... Do we want to die already? Yeah, we'll die. Sure, guess I'll die. She'll attack us. Oh, hey, we still live. That's nice. Well, that makes it easy. Then we'll go and pound Usopp here. And then we'll plan on dying. So now we'll wait until Big Mom attacks us and then we'll die. This is turn 3 when you got that 96 ship. She'll blow away two random sailors on your team. Here we go. There's that blow away. Two random sailors on our team gets blown away. Totally fine. This is what we would like before the revive. But it's fine either way. Just make sure you don't hit perfects. Now we die. Poison's ticking away. Brooke revives us. When Brooke revives, we get our characters back. We get our shit back. So we get that good, good, good health. And I'm purposely not attacking Big Mom. Because as long as I don't attack Big Mom, uh, then the poison will tick and kill her. Uh, when you get her here, poison will still tick and kill if you leave her alive below 20%, she will hit you for uh, a lot of health. She'll hit you for like 4 million hit points, so don't leave her alive below 20%. But as long as you don't do damage to her, just let Magellan poison roll. With this team, you will not hit that below 20%. So after that revive, she has 5 million hit points. She will prevent all debuffs to herself, but the toxic will still stay there, so we actually don't have to do anything. Just pass the turn, she'll hit us. You can use your Barto special to heal back up. You can use your Barto special earlier, which is why I was thinking about dying earlier. Either die or use that Barto special earlier to save you. But since the no healing goes away, your Barto actually heals you for a lot more. So you want to try to use healing specials after you die. Your characters get blown away if things get unfortunate. Just use specials as you do. And then whenever you get your Brook back, you can use Brook special too. It's all good. That's it. That's the entire fight. Very, very easy. Very, very safe. Only a few turns of stalling needed. And if you want to make this team even faster, use Legend Magellan. But if you are using like Legend Magellan Captains or you're using Double Brook Captains, pay very close attention to what her health is at because you don't want her to just like execute you. So we got Legend Big or Raid Boss Big Mom. Hello. Ray Boss Big Mom is a quick slasher powerhouse. Her captain ability boosts the attack of all characters by three times, and if your health is below uh, three times if your health is below 50%, otherwise boosts your attack by 2.5 times and reduces your health by 20% as a captain. So each Big Mom reduces your health by 20% as a captain ability. For you, Big Mom, there you are. Big Mom's special ability reduces your crew's current health by 50%, deals 100 times the health reduced to one enemy, and shuffles all non-recovery orbs. So she's basically like a free-to-play version of Shiki Legend, but with both a captain 
and a sailor ability that reduces your health, oddly enough. She's got the first negative sailor ability that we've gotten since Ambush Cavendish. And her sailor ability actually reduces your team's health by 50%, but boosts recovery by 1.2 times. Uh, so, that's a pretty big health loss. 20% health loss as a captain, 30% health cost loss as a 30 as a sailor. Did I say 50%? It's 30% health loss as a sailor. So it's 30% health loss as a sailor, 20% as a captain. It's a, uh, quite a lot of health to lose, which actively goes against her special ability since you want to have more health as her special. I'm not sure how I feel about Big Mom. It's really weird. She's got like completely conflicting special and captain and sailor abilities. Like, it's not like a Nell where we want uh, Legend of Nell teams where we want to have lower health so we can overheal more. Uh, her, we just want to have more health. But if you use her as a sailor, then you're gonna lose a lot of health. Like if you had a team that had a hundred thousand hit points, you're gonna lose thirty thousand hit points just by putting Big Mom on your team. Which is really awkward. Although, nice thing about Big Mom is that her limit break. Uh, her limit break abilities. First ability is double special ability. So you get to use her special twice the first time. That means you can use her special at full health, then uh, use the special to heal back up, then use the special again. That's going to be pretty cool. And her second limit break ability is going to reduce her cooldown at the start. And her support abilities support Perospero, Daifuku, and Bavarwa at full level adds 7% of her attack, health, and recovery to the supported character. Which is nice. Gonna be weird to find a spot for Big Mom. It's gonna need a full team supporting Big Mom in order to use her special well. Although possibly just using her as a small nuke on a team that doesn't really need much health is gonna be okay, but is is a really, really weird special. We'll have to see how we use her. I've been Zinigami guys, thank you so much for watching. Good luck farming. Y'all stay beautiful.